Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, today, I'd like to go through a integration with the Okta workflows, basically how to initiate a flow using an API endpoint. Um, this is actually a very powerful integration uh, for, let's say, you had an external script or an application, and you wanted to do some work within Okta, uh, but you really didn't want to have all of the business logic within your application. Uh, this way, you can have your developers put a, uh, a basic uh, link into Okta, uh, put a payload in there, but all the business logic is actually held within Okta so that non-developers, uh, admins, and uh, other people in the business unit can get access to it, see what's happening, uh, adjust the logic if necessary, and not have to go through a, a full development sprint cycle if an adjustment needs to be made. So it becomes a very powerful tool to help your business be a little bit more nimble and to act quickly upon uh, changing situations. So let's uh, kind of dive into things a little bit. Um, so a few things that I'd like to go over. Actually, uh, Okta is a security company at heart, so we want to make sure that the API is fully secured so that it's uh, being made with the uh, best practices. And then we also want to show how to basically map the incoming uh, JSON request and an outgoing response back to your application. So there's a couple of things that we can uh, show here. So let me uh, go into workflows and I'll show you an example that I have uh, that will just kind of help uh, illustrate some of these points. So first thing to do is how do we uh, interface the workflows with your application? So right in here, and so this is the API uh, endpoint card. So this is the action card that's gonna kick off the, this particular flow. And in here, you can see I have a uh, invoke URL. So this is a URL created specifically for this uh, API, uh, this workflow integration. And then here's a client token that's going to be used to help secure that. So let's uh, close this down. Now I'm going to use Postman to um, kind of show you how this whole thing is kicked off. So in Postman, um, I have the, the two things I just pointed out. So here's the URL that I'm used to invoke the workflow. And then here's the, the client token uh, that's going to help us secure the API transaction. So I've created um, basically an authentication uh, header here, uh, X API client token, and I put my value in here. So this value is uh, strictly for this one particular workflow, and it will basically be able to be uh, regenerated if we need it. So if I execute this, oh, one other thing. So here's the, the actual body that I have that I'm going to be uh, sending down to my workflow in order to create this application. So basically when I execute this with my header and my body, this will all be received in workflows. So let's uh, execute this. And you can see I had, a, I had a good response here. Uh, so this is showing that my application was successfully created. And this happens to be the application ID that was created in Okta. So if we go back to workflows, and we kind of look at the, the logic involved here. So what I did here was I pulled in the um, JSON object here. I split that object into discrete elements. I'm doing some logic based on that. In this case, I'm looking to see if the application already exists based upon the output of that inspection. I'm either going to just report the ID of that uh, object that's already there, or I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna create uh, a, a JSON object which has the parameters that I would pass in. And then I'm going to take that, use another Okta API. So this is the Okta API connector to create that application. And then based upon that, I'm going to send out a response body to the end uh, script application that called me. Now, if I look into flow history, I can see the execution that I just did. And uh, we see that it was successful. So I can see in here, uh, exactly what it is that I sent out. So I'm looking in here, and this is the uh, JSON request that I had in my Postman example. You can see that was received. Here's where I'm breaking that down into the various items that were part of the JSON. I'm doing my checks and everything here, and we can see that the check worked out so that the object was not already in Okta. So I came down to this tier down here where I'm showing the uh, creation of the object. So here I'm constructing the uh, JSON request into Okta uh, based upon the information that I got in from the API. And it was successful, everything is good. So I'm gonna basically report that back up. 
and then send that back to my application. And you can see here, here's my application body, which is what I saw in my API response in Postman. So you can see here, it's actually a very simple integration, uh, but it's very powerful and it allows your external scripts and uh, applications to kind of access the power of the workflows and its ability to create custom business logic without actually having to code it into your application. So making it much more accessible to admins, business owners, people who aren't necessarily developers, and it kind of takes the business logic out of the realm of uh, DevOps or waiting for the next sprint in order to get your business logic updated. So I hope this was uh, helpful and please tune back in again uh, when we have some more of these instructional videos.